What up, y'all? It's Mr. Ignit, a disciple of Camper Nation. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. You know, in the video that you're about to watch, I was doing a shout out to Siggy B Gaming, but it didn't come out quite right like I wanted to. So, I'm going to do an intro before the intro. Now, Siggy B Gaming is a cool jump scare juggernaut of uh, YouTube. He's been showing me a lot of love. I just thought I'd show him some love back. Siggy B does Dead Space Outlast and Battlefield. This one's for you, my dude. Keep doing your thing. You do damn good jump scare work. Check him out. Description down below. Siggy B Gaming. He kicks ass. Mr. Ignit, the disciple of Camper Nation. And by all means, enjoy the video. And I am out. And what up, what up, once again, my people, it is your homie, Mr. Ignit, a disciple of Camper Nation. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. And yes, to some of the people that know, your eyes do not deceive you, this is The Punisher, 1993, an arcade juggernaut of its time, beat em up by Capcom, classic. Kick-ass game, retro. But before I get into the meat of this classic retro gameplay, I'm going to do a shout-out to a YouTuber that's kicking a lot of butt and taking names. Real cool dude. He's real active on my channel. He always comes through, gives me positive words, you know, advice. Check him out. His name is Siggy B. Gaming. Now, I consider Siggy B. Gaming to be a future juggernaut in the YouTube jump scare community because he has a cool personality. He keeps it real. He does a lot of cool gameplays with Dead Space, Outlast, Battlefield. You know, one of the cool and jump scares that you'll see on YouTube. Check him out, Siggy B Gaming, description down below. And when you check him out, don't forget to tell him that Mr. Ignit sent you. It's all good. Now let us get into playing this retro arcade classic. Like I said, this is the Punisher 1993 arcade version. And let's get all into it. Eight credits. Now, who am I going to play? I believe I get some of that punishing. And let's do it. All right. This is another cool game. I remember, I think it was kind of, to me, it was kind of similar to Aliens vs. Predators. But this one, I remember it having a little bit more weapons in it. But you know, as a child, as a youth, I collected comic books and Punisher was one of the good ones. He didn't really have a secret power, a special power. Punisher's special power was, uh, Killer instinct, you know what I'm saying? Blam blam with the cannon. Letting them have it. Hope y'all having a good day. I understand, you know, it's the holidays. A lot of people is off work and kicking it with the family, catching up on things. Uh, try to kill him in the glitch. What's up, dog? <laughs> Dog is just staying there. Like people are gonna be moving around like that. And he gonna stay where he's at. Word up. Mm. The Punisher don't play. Come on, get in the glitch. I ain't gonna try to get surrounded. Y'all gonna have to work for this. Uh. Kind of plays like Final Fight and Aliens vs Predators put together. But I like it. You know, for the time, this was the innovative graphics you know what i mean stop motion 
cool colors working with the bat uh. you're finished Bruno Scully get him look at this big cat oh he's trying to sneak me huh uh. 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 Nah, y'all ain't gonna be sneaking up on me too much, man. Uh. Trying to sneak me with the knife, really? Now, it's been years since I done played this game, but muscle memory. Cause you know all the Capcom games, the button cord, and that's one thing about the Capcom games. Oh, it snuck up on me. That's one thing about the Capcom games that um, the button hardly ever changes. The jump is where it's at. The special move is everything together. It might cause you to lose a little bit of your life, but at least they to back them off of you, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying myself so far. Stage one complete. Word up. I grabbed a lot of loot. Look how I yoked them up like that. <laughs> Mad strong, huh? Don't kill me. Uh, thanks. Goodbye. No, oh, he's straight blasting him. Play the violence in the games. Just keep going through the drain, swimming. Going to the hideout. Trying to get to Bruno. I like the water effects. They look pretty fly. I remember this game dropping a whole lot of goodies every time like you would uh everything was destructible practically everything so they would give you like some weapons or power-ups or whatever they showed you a lot of love in this game I guess because Punisher doesn't have too much uh, you know he doesn't have any powers like I said earlier his powers is his nerves to steal and his killer instinct. I collected the comic book back in the day. You know, like most kids my age. Uh. See, from playing all these retro games, I remember most of the time if you have your back against the wall, they can't corner you. Or, uh, get your hands on a lot of these arcade games, especially with Capcom or uh, Konami. Make sure you keep your back against the wall and you might catch them in a glitch because they won't be able to uh, sneak up on you as easy. Remember that. Sorry, ninja lady. I had to cut you. All right. Doing the bad thing. Uh. Doing the work with the pistol. Uh. Picking up the gap. Free the people. Thanks, mama. <laughs> Freeing the captives. What's up? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I remember. Um, Punish a special move, he'll, he'll jump up and throw some grenades down. I'll probably do that when I get a little bit desperate later on, because I know it's going to get hairy. Hope y'all enjoying yourselves. Don't forget to drop a like, sub, leave a comment, let me know if y'all played this game. I'm definitely having fun reliving my childhood. I'm smelling bubble gum and soda and candy right now. You know, just a reaction to playing this old school. Think I'm in an arcade in my brain. It's time for justice. Mm. 
Oh, Lord. Look at this big bastard. We gotta go to work on this fool. No. No, he took me out. That's my first quarter. Look, he's trying to bring me back, huh? I'm up. Get up bussing. I didn't care for that too much. Uh. Uh. Get some of that pizza up there. Uh. See, that's his little special move down there. Yeah, I sacrifice a little bit of my energy. Uh. But that he does that little that little break dance and spin kick move. Man, that robot hand him. Uh, take that. Alright. The boss is down. Stage two clear. I sure I'm having fun. Hopefully I get a little far with these credits. Hope y'all enjoying it so far. Kingpin is behind this. You know the Kingpin, a lot of people got into it with him in the Marvel Universe. You know, like Spider-Man, Dead Devil, what have you. Oh, love those graphics for the time. Uh, you tear up the G-Ride. Uh, oh, look at the dead body. I, I killed the man. <laughs> His body's still there. Now, you know, as soon as that car would have started ha getting damaged, you know he would have jumped out of that ride. He wouldn't have... There. Sorry about that, partner. Uh, uh. Look like you... Picked the wrong folks to work for. <laughs> uh, take that. Uh. He gets busy with that special move, don't he? Nah, nah, big boy. Can't let you do me like that. Uh. Punisher puts it down, don't he? Straight justice. And you know, back in the day as a kid, you know what I mean? Everybody, you know, even like on the, on the playground, you know what I mean? In the hood playgrounds, it seems that the Punisher got a little bit more respect, even though, you know, it's, it's a cartoon, uh, a comic book character, rather. You know what I mean? Punisher always kind of got the respect. Like, look, I don't have no superpower. I ain't flying around. But I will pop a cap in you. So, you know. In my mind, he get a little bit more respect than uh, Batman and them for me. Because, you know, he wasn't a rich dude like Batman. He wasn't born on, you know, his folks weren't from Krypton like Superman. But everybody knows, you get in Punisher ways, he gonna give you your issue. <laughs> Straight up. And he don't need all them superpowers. He just got the nerve. He got the nerve to kick butt and take name. Power. I always liked that about him. Mmm. And I guess the bad guys found out real quick. You don't have to have superpowers to kick butt. You just gotta have the nerves and the balls to get the job done. Uh! Uh! Get him! Making short work of these fools. 
feeling good. It's the holiday season. Probably get a little bit of shopping done this week. It's all good. But I don't like the crowds. If y'all didn't see my last video, my flawless video on Call of Duty, be sure to check that out. I greatly appreciate it. The ten things. Ten things about the Christmas time. Five things I like. Five things I don't like. One of my better flawless gameplays in Black Ops 2. You don't think that I don't think that I have forgot about Infinite Warfare, because I sure do like that boots on the ground. That's coming. I just been in the lab, you know, concocting videos, because I've been playing the hell out of that. Trust me, that better stick around. There's going to be a whole lot of rant videos in the future. But later on for that, let's get into the retro. Oh, I lost another quarter? Hell no. Can't have too much of that. Man, these boys, is, they coming with it. It's getting mad hairy. <laughs> Bone crush, you gotta go, baby. Boys surrounding me. They getting the cannon. Oh, they catching me. I said, big boy. Where you at? That's enough of that. All right, stage three is down. It's over with. I'm having a blast right now. Y'all just don't understand. I think it's 1993 again. Word up. I do, I do believe in 1993, the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. <laughs> And them jokers seem to be pretty good right now. But it's all good. I am a Steelers fan, so I hope they don't get too far. But I like that Prescott. I like what he stands for. You know. I'm pretty sure a lot of teams wish that they had a, uh, you know, a young, you know, intelligent quarterback. A young, cool brother like him, you know. He do you know, he don't play for the Steelers, so I ain't gonna give him too much prop. Because we might have to play them in the Super Bowl, worst comes the worst. We almost beat him last time. A discussion for another video. <laughs> Word up. Steelers play for uh, on Christmas Day. It's all good. Mmm. Picking up these gats. Too bad I can't bust them. I'm just picking them up. What's up with that? All right. Dealing with these boys in the glitch. What's up? What's up? Come on out of there. Try to destroy some of this equipment. See if they got some goodies in there. Word up. Picked up a tote sack to start whipping people's butts with it. Sorry, ninja ladies. It's 
sorry, people. I got a job to do. Uh. Get him. Guess I gotta destroy the machine or what have you. Mm. Try to destroy. I guess this is drug uh, equipment for the the train. Tan it up. What you think you was about to do? Uh. Sneak me. I'm trying to get with me, man. You see that? Or oh, trying to sneak up on a cat. It is what it is. All right. Enough of that. What you trying to do? Look at this. Getting dealt with. <laughs> now you know I'm. Come on now. I hardly don't have too much more. Uh, too much more power. All right. And this was like you know, one of my favorite games. Just like Alien vs Predators. Because one thing that I remember about this game in particular is they show you a lot of love with the weapons on the floor. I guess it's because Punisher... Man, look at this fool right here. You ain't gonna hit me with that knife too many more times, partner. So one thing about this game, they show you a whole lot of love with, like, the stuff that they leave for you on the ground. Because then they realized that uh, Punisher didn't have uh, a secret power, so a superpower rather. So they're giving you plenty of options with the weapons they drop. And I like that. Because sometimes hands and feet ain't going to do it. Like this fire extinguisher that shoot fire. <laughs> Word up. Y'all gonna have to face that glitch. Come on with it. Jump up if you want to. What's up? Nah. Okay. Going to the next level. Uh oh, another one of them big cats. Damn it. I'm back. I'm back and I'm busting. that too much partner all right you want to go toe to toe what's up uh. welcome punishment death express bushwhacker huh I got something for you come on with it come on step up uh. Look like I might have to spam these fools. Oh, uh, now he got a gun coming out of his arm, huh? Uh. I can't take too much of that. <laughs> Work with that bat. Uh, what's up? 
Nah, what's up? Who wants Summer Punisher now? Uh, stage four is clear. Bushwhackers down. Word up. Having a good time. Yeah. Get with him, Punisher. Get with him. Kingpin's wrath. Check out them graphics. Don't he look menacing? Word up. Someone's here already. Word up. No, you ain't gonna have my head, partner. Mm. Mm, look at these rats. This fool trying to sneak up on me, man. What's up? I don't want no fool running up on me through these doors. They always try to circle you. That's one thing about the beat em up genre, you gotta... Man, watch, watch your back, cause they will try to sneak up on you. I'm on top of that. Maybe I could find a power up in one of these barrels. Oh, some cheese in there, like like them rats wouldn't have found that cheese ASAP. I'm in Rat City, and like those those rats wouldn't have found that, like you know ASAP. <sighs> like them rats wouldn't have been on top of that. All right. Uh. I'm about sick and tired of that fire, dude. For real, for real. All right. Uh, got two of these big boys, huh? They gonna feel the fire, they come too close. What's up? Uh. Nah, man. Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna be taking too much of that. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh. Look at this. They're getting with me. Lost the credit. <laughs> Them robot dudes, man. Mad annoying. Mad annoying. 
Because they catch Rick. Because, you know, they can even move like without a head. You know what I'm saying? They're real fierce. Real fierce cyborg cats. All right. Uh, I'm off. Nice little landscape in the back. For the time, trust me, 1993 arcade graphics. This was a tip top. Besides scrolling beat em ups, top notch work. Capcom Marway was, was on the top of that game with, um, with the beat em up graphics. They always set the standard. Look at this car. Doesn't this music kind of sound like the Final Fantasy music? Just saying. All right. Oh, look at this, man. They're coming all type of directions. Oh, dude got his nunchucks on him. Man. All right. They keep on trying to sneak me with these weapons. I don't care for that. All right. Look at this fool. What she thought she was doing. Mm. All right, that's enough for you. Oh, enough with the barrels, man. Straight busting. Too bad I can't bust them guns, the ones that I'm picking up. Yeah, in this game, Punisher, he'll pull out his guns sometimes. You know, he can't leave it open all the time. What's going on, ladies? Oh, they tearing me up. Sorry, y'all got to get the grenades. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Guess it's time for the boss battle now. Nah, another big ass robot. All right. Uh. Oh man, this dude here. Uh, look at this crap. Oh my, I got the gun, I got 20 shots. Uh. All right, I got one grenade. Oh, damn. I'm waking up busting. Don't know how many credits I got left. Hopefully I make it to the kingpin. All right, he down. That's what I'm talking about. Get him punishing. Stage five is clear. Yeah. Got a lot of loot. Got a lot of weapons. Well, let's get into it. Where we headed? Where we headed? Kingpin's compound. Well, let's do this thing. All right. Hope y'all doing good out there. 
Hope y'all doing good this holiday season. It's Kingpin's Tower. Hopefully I can get to that big fool. Tear him up. Uh. I'm in the dough. What's up? He waste these fools real. Uh. Punish is a fool with the cannon, ain't it? All right. So I thought y'all was gonna sneak up on me. Uh, picking up my loot. I'm gonna need them grenades. Picked up that lance. Fire dude without his fire. Uh. Getting busy on him. I could use some help though. Uh, uh, come on out of there. Alright, here they come. Uh-oh. All right. Get some of this fire here. Uh. Burn. All right. Uh. Oh, I needed that. I needed that. I was running a little low. Old girl just straight up suplex me, huh? Straight up power slamming. Uh, take some of them grenades, partner. Uh, take that. Uh, can't stand them cyborg cats. I'm back. Grab a little bit of that cheese. Uh. All right. Here we go. What's up, big boy? You can get some of these grenades, too. Right, I'm have to keep on spamming these grenades because these boys is uh they coming with it. They are not playing anymore. <laughs> As y'all can tell, they ain't playing no more. What's up, big boy? You can get some too. What you thought you was gonna bull rush me? Word up. Uh, jumping down here. Jump in the elevator. Elevator shaft. Uh. 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 Come on, Punisher. The jigsaw right there. He made an appearance. Oh! Jigsaw. Tough. Nah, Jigsaw. I ain't trying to let you get close. Yeah, I remember Jigsaw played mad dirty, so I ain't gonna let... I ain't gonna try to let his ass get too close at all. All right. I'm down there in the engine room. Could have 
this fire dude, man. Ain't he freaky? Gotta take care of him fast. All right. Got the flamethrower. See what I could do with this here. Keep the fire. I keep the flamethrower. I like the effect. Notice when you set somebody on fire, it's the same animation as when uh, Dawson from Street Fighter uh, throws that fire boat, that fire at him. It's all good. Oh man, can't take too much of that. Boys is trying to get with me. See, it makes those cyborg dangerous. Like I, when I said earlier, they don't need a head. You know what I mean? Parts of that body could fall off, they'll still come at you. Kind of like zombies. You know what I mean? Robots don't need vital organs. They just come with it. So, word up. Man, these boys. Pick up that M16, hope to try to get to it. Alright. M16. might have to make my way back to that dynamite. It's gone, of course. This fool throwing grenades and running. For real. Right. All right. All right, big boy. All right, now. Here we go. What's up? Kingpin. Well, what's up, now? You about to get it, Kingpin. I ain't about to take no shorts. Have at you. Uh. I don't have no uh, grenades. What I remember about this game is about Kingpin, even in the arcade, you gotta, you gotta spam me good stuff ASAP, because them henchmen just gonna keep on coming. You gotta stay focused on kicking Kingpin's butt the whole time, because them henchmen just gonna keep on coming. So if you're playing this arcade version, because this, this game, two people, but since I ride solo, just like a Call of Duty, nine times out of ten, I'm solo camping, so you got to be on top of your game playing these bosses. Come on, I still got quarters left. Word up. Uh, trying to play all the way through. It's been a while since uh, I've done a long play. I've never done a long play in, um, in my retro, so give y'all a little treat for the holiday season getting with kingpin oh he's down he's down and i still got quarters left word up well all right now we got with him i got a lot of loot got a lot of weapons kicked a lot of butt it's all good Hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like, comment. If y'all like the content, tell a friend. I, I sure do enjoy.
doing these gameplays for y'all. It means a lot. Because, you know, I'm, you know, reliving my childhood. 1993. A arcade juggernaut up its time. I didn't get to play as Nick Fury, but it's all good. Y'all got to see the whole game play through just with my eight quarters. I didn't break hood rules. Because I know a lot of people's like, oh, you breaking hood rules, this, at this. But I stuck to my word. Whipped ass as much as possible. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, tell a friend. Enjoy the rest of the end animations. It's your boy, Mr. Ignit, a disciple of Camper Nation, baby. And I am out. Enjoy the rest of the ending. Y'all take care. Love y'all.